Hi guys, in this video I'm going to do a very, very high level basic uh, introduction to simple linear regression with a data set uh, by just explaining the idea behind um, and motivation behind doing a simple linear regression. Um, with this example of these two variables, distance and speed. Uh, the idea is distance, by the way, is the distance uh, a car takes to stop and speed is the speed that that car is traveling in miles per hour. Uh, I think the distance is measured in feet. Okay, so the idea is we want to be able to predict. So let me write this. We want to be able to predict this stopping distance, which is what this stands for, with speed. Okay? And these are for cars. So, naturally, we pick speed to be our x because we want to use uh, our speed. To predict y, this will be our predictor variable. It's also called a the independent variable. And sometimes even called the explanatory variable. I think predictor and explanatory variable are self-explanatory because this is what we want to use to predict this, right? But independent might need a, a little explanation. The idea is, is that this is, speed is independent, and distance is dependent upon speed. That's the relationship we want to explore, okay? So naturally, distance, or the y variable here, is going to be the, what we call the dependent. Uh, variable and sometimes it's called the response variable so these are various names that you'll see in your textbooks okay so the first thing you would usually do when you have this kind of data which is by the way is called bivariate data because uh, it's two numerical variables that are measured on each observation so in other words these two over here are connected to one observation, to observation one. These two are connected to observation three, and so forth. Okay, and all in all, in this data set, I, we have 50 observations. If you counted the number of rows here, you would see that there are 50 rows. Okay, so first thing you want to do with bivariate data is to create a scatter plot. So we go to insert, scatter and we pick the first one okay and Excel sometimes will suggest certain things if you don't want it you go over to chart tools design select data and just hit remove remove until you get rid of everything okay and we have a blank slate over here now we're gonna add the data that we want forget about the name the x values are going to be what we already determined was our x. And the y values, erase that, delete that, is going to be our what we already determined to be our y variables. Hit OK. And that's all you need to feed it for now. And you see we have a scatter plot which begins to give us a visual representation of the relationship between speed and distance. Okay, and you could see that this relationship is overall a positive relationship. As speed increases, which is my x, distance increases, right? Furthermore, you see it's a pretty tightly packed group of points. So it's a pretty strong relationship, right? So it's a strong, so far, strong, positive relationship. And you could also argue that it's a linear relationship in that if you had to draw 
a line to summarize these points, it would probably be something like this. I'm trying to draw a straight line, sorry. Probably something like this, right? I'm trying to draw a straight line here. Or you could argue it's slightly curved, like this. Okay? And these are both good, uh, good assessments, okay? And good uh, feelings. Uh, correct visual uh, feeling that you're getting by looking at these scatter plot. But in order to pursue this further, you would have to uh, run the different kind of models. One would be a linear model to get a straight line, and one would be a quadratic regression to, to uh, run a, quadra a curved line, and then compare the two models along some lines, like r square, for example, the coefficient of determination. But I've done that in uh, other videos. Please check those out. But for now, I just want to show you how to make a scatter plot and, be and show you how the scatter plot begins to tell the story of the uh, relationship between x and y. Any x and y, as long as they're numerical variables by, from bivariate data, you should first and foremost draw a scatter plot, okay? And label it scatter plot of distance versus speed. It's y versus x. And then you could label your axes speed, that's our x axis, and distance, okay? And then you could start working on deeper, going deeper into the uh, simple linear regression or quadratic regression model and comparing those two. I leave that to uh, other videos that I've done on, on this same exact data set. So if this was interesting and you want to go further with it, please look up those videos and uh, make sure you watch them in sequence because they uh, kind of build on each other. All right. So, hope this was helpful. Uh, at the minimum, you learn how to draw a scatter plot and uh, a little bit about bivariate data and simple linear regression. Okay? So, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I got tons of Excel and statistics, other kind of videos. Yeah. So, till next time, have a great day.